Enough! Orion bellowed before Caleb could land the strike. The terror air paused, and it felt like everyone in the class had turned to stone. Tension rippled through the air as Caleb extinguished the flames in his palms, a low growl emitting from his throat. She's my source. Touch her again, and you're dead. Professor or not. Orion snatched the front of his shirt, pulling him within an inch of his face. Get out of my classroom. Not until you swear it, Caleb spat, wheeling a hand around to point at Tori. She's mine. Keep your teeth out of her. I don't belong to anyone, Tori snapped, and I nodded my agreement. When Orion didn't respond, Caleb pushed the professor off him so hard his back smashed into the board. Tense mutters broke out in the class, and I realized I was clutching the edge of my desk, my knuckles turning white. Fine, Orion said in a deadly tone, but the other Vega twin is mine. Excuse me? I gasped, but they continued to ignore us. Caleb grumbled something, starting to stalk back and forth before him like a caged lion. Deal, he finally forced out, then marched from the room, slamming the door behind him. Orion straightened his shirt, then turned back to the board. Ares are ruled by Mars, so they can be particularly impulsive and often aggressive when... He went on, and I turned to Tori in absolute shock as Orion continued as if nothing had just happened. Don't we get a say in this? I hissed to my sister. Not unless we can fight them off, Tori said, her brow creasing with rage. Which you won't be able to do unless you listen in class. A book slammed into our desk, and Tori and I sprang apart to avoid it hitting us. Orion glared at us, the clear perpetrator. One more word out of either of you, and you'll be in detention for the rest of the year. I pressed my lips together as fury bubbled and steamed inside me. Is he serious right now? He stared at us, waiting for either of us to talk back. We remained silent, and he returned to teaching. When you're awakened, you will always obtain the elemental power linked to your star sign. For example, as a water sign, all Pisceans are gifted with the elemental magic of water. Those who gain more than one element are usually gifted this way because they are linked to more than one constellation. Orion tapped the board and a chart appeared which showed every constellation in the sky. As you can see... There are hundreds of combinations. The powers gifted to you by the stars are very elusive. Little is known about how or why some fae are born with more than one element. But we do know that genetics play a role, and so does your order. He gave us a pointed look, and I gave him a cold stare back. You literally just claimed me as your blood bag, you jackass. How can you go on with life as if nothing just happened? He approached me with a smile that made my chest hollow out. Can you name some of the constellations which aren't linked to a zodiac sign, Miss Vega? Why was he always picking on us? There were nearly a hundred people in this class, and he knew for a fact that my sister and I had the least knowledge here out of everyone. I thought back to my youth, lying under the stars beside Tori. Our foster mother at the time had laid with us, pointing out the few constellations she knew. She'd been a kind woman, but her husband had never wanted us there. In the end, she chose him, and we were cast out. The story of my life. One of the constellations had stuck in my mind from those long-ago days. Um, <clears throat> I cleared my throat. The little bear? Correct. He pointed at Diego beside me. Which is also known as? 
the little deeper, sir, he supplied. I bet Diego's got a little dipper, Tyler Corbin snorted from the front row. Five points from Terra, Orion snapped at him, and Tyler huffed. And the Latin name? Orion pointed at Sophia, who turned pink-faced as she answered. Ursa Minor? she squeaked. Ten points too, how Cygnus. Orion strode away, and Sophia beamed from ear to ear. I didn't know why she doubted herself so much. She knew more than Tori, Diego, and I, combined. 